for the sign of Cancer, hello and welcome to my channel. So Cancer, for the present time, we've got the Seven of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Now the Seven of Wands coming up here, it's, it's showing that you're likely to find that in any kind of comp competitive situation that you come up against, that you come out on top. And that um, things should be going really well for you. And you'll be having a lot of energy and you'll be feeling good in your projects. They'll be moving right along. You may still have some regular moments of self, of self doubt, unfortunately. But now is going to be the time to feel the fear and do it anyway. Also, don't hesitate to make where you stand clear to people because your thinking is clear and you're likely to help out someone by spelling things out for them. This card it points towards being independent and thinking for yourself. Now it's paired with the Two of Pentacles. Now the Two of Pentacles, it's about two main issues at front in your mind. You may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Multitasking is not going to be your friend at this time. So you may need to cut down on things you're doing in order to focus on just maybe two main priorities. Your financial situation may need to be more balanced. So be sure you're paying attention there. So basically for the present time, you may feel like you're going back and forth, back and forth. Or just, you might be doing a lot of juggling um, and you need to you need to balance out whatever you're trying to do because like I said multitasking is not your friend so if you can manage to do that then you'll come out on top you'll be yeah yeah you'll come out on top so it's all about trying to be resistant to others objections so you might have some people trying to pull you this way and pull you that way with the seven, seven of wands. You'll come out on top if you could cut back on so many things. So just keep that in mind. You want to come out on top. You don't want to fall down. So, you, so uh, just keep in mind multitasking is not your friend. So pull back from so many things. Now, let's move over. Let's take a look at how your person is seeing you. We've got this Eight of Pentacles, and we got the Lover's Card. Now, the Eight of Pentacles, it's about necessary efforts. You'll probably feel like you got a lot on your plate that you need to accomplish. Dedication to the task is important, but if you have it work for its own sake, it can be counterproductive. So make sure you're clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance, because no one can work all the time. This Eight of Pentacles, it indicates a very hard work period. Just like you see this man in the picture. It looks like it was afternoon, but now it's going into nighttime. And he's still working. He, he's not going to stop anytime soon. And guess what? It's pouring down rain. It's raining heavy. So it's about a hard, it's about a heavy work period, this Eight of Pentacles. And this doesn't have to be a negative thing, but you have to be prepared for it. And Cancer, this is how your person is seeing you. This is how they view you. They say you want to master this connection. Okay, you enjoy, you got a lot of passion for them. Now, it's also paired with this Lover's card. The Lover's card, it's associated with the astrological side of Gemini, the twins. It's possible that, um, it's possible that you're feeling ambivalent about a relationship or situation in your life. It could be that your heart is telling you one thing and your head is telling you another. Now with the lover's card coming up in your reading, the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that any of us operate under at a time and that's either fear or love. But when you get the lover's card, it's saying it's safe to choose love. Yeah, because this lover's card, it brings love and capital letters to the center stage of your life. If this 
Well, this could be a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one. Either way, you'll be really happy, very happy. So basically, they see you like this Eight of Pentacles and the Lovers card. Like I said, they see you um, very motivated and inspired about this connection. And you love them a lot. That's how they see you. They see you... Lovers card is about a union, coming together, falling in love. It's a deep love. It's a partnership. It's the strength of two. So this is how they see you. And that you want to work really hard to keep this connection going. You're going to master it. That's how they see you. So let's move on over. Let's take a look at how you see them. And you see them like the Ten of Cups and the Emperor. Now, the Ten of Cups, this is another beautiful card in the tarot. It's one of the most uplifting cards that you can receive. It points to happiness, perhaps in a more mature kind of way. Either way, it's a good card. It's about happy family life, even if you're single. And to the well-being that goes beyond you yourself to include those that you're concerned about your parents, siblings, children, and much more, your pets. Being spiritually fulfilled is also a part of this picture. It's a really good card to see regardless of any questions. So you see them as a dream come true. Now it's paired with this emperor, which is a very interesting card. If you can, take a, if you can see his face, he's got no emotion. No expression. The emperor is about domination over the mind, over the heart, and it's sometimes necessary even though it's not wanted. Now, when her choices must be made, it's important to maintain your concentration and focus. And the emperor, the emperor is, is very good at doing this, but it also signals that now is a time that you'll find it easier to make hard choices. And I say this because the emperor is one who does not use his heart. He only uses his head. So you have no problem making um, hard choices easy. They'll come easy for you, hard choices. So enjoy the assertiveness and confidence that this self-controlled focus brings. Forge ahead and do what you know is best. Because if you can master yourself, then you should have very little problem mastering most of the other obstacles that life can throw at you. And this is how you see a person, like the emperor. They could be a boss, a leader, an arrogant type of person. They don't want to come across as being vulnerable. Yeah, there's a desire for power with this emperor. So, you see them like I said, as a dream come true with this Ten of Cups. But you pro a lot of times you probably find yourself wondering you know, does he, does this person really like me? He never really tells, tell, I never really hear it from him. He might buy me this and buy me that, but he never says how he feels about me. Or he never, maybe he just never said I love you, or she just never express it. But they do things for you. But they just can't express themselves emotionally because they don't want you to know. They don't want to come across as being vulnerable. But with this Ten of Cups here, um... I think you got a really good feeling that um, they that you see them as a dream come true, but you see them as not expressing their emotions. So you see them having a hard time to let you know about the way they're feeling towards you and this relationship. So you see them keeping their emotions to themselves. And that's what the emperor does 
but you see them as um, this Ten of Cups. Now, just a little side note, when you get the Ten of Cups, if you're worrying about a romantic relationship and you get this card, it's a clear indicator that you really don't have anything to worry about. You and your lover, your person, you're on the same page. You're on the same page with this emperor, but like I said, Cancer, you wouldn't know it because they didn't, they'll never let you know. And that's what the emperor is about. But it's, it's good because it's with the Ten of Cups. So, yeah. Ten of Cups, you see them as um, you're happy. And you're very fulfilled with this person. So, let's move on over and let's take a look at why it's happening. We got this Temperance here and it's with a Chariot. Now, the temperance is about your relationships are probably going well, but you may need to look at your deeper personal issues and see if or how they're standing in your way. And if they are, work through them and integrate them. The ideal is to do what it takes to find balance in your life and in your relationships when you get the temperance card. So... This is one of the reasons why it's happening. There needs, there needs to be balance. Now, it's with the chariot. Now, the chariot, it indicates a lot of energy, but it's not a free-for-all energy. It's directed, it's controlled, and it has a goal in mind. So there's a plan here. Uh, you're likely to be really clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true. This card is about determination, ambition, and getting things done, and testing and proving that you have what it takes. It's a sign that you should move forward with whatever you have in mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. Just remember, you need to use both your intellect and your heart to be truly successful. So basically, it's happening due to temperance and chariot. Um, there needs to be balance here. Because this connection might have went too far, too fast, or something happened that just went really fast. There was a plan. It was it was directed and controlled, but it probably got out of hand, and that's why you're needing to find balance. So basically, for this reading. For why it's happening in the present time, we see you coming out on top. But there could be some juggling here with this Two of Pentacles for the present time. But looks like there's a lot of needing to find balance in this connection. Okay? And once you do, you come out on top. Okay? And your person, we talked about this, how they see you. They see you wanting to work hard. You got a lot of passion for this connection. And they see you um, as a deep love or loving them really deeply. And you see them as a, a dream come true, but they don't, they don't show any emotion, no emotions whatsoever. Or if they do, it's hard to figure out what it's all about. And then why it's happening, once again, because the temperance is here. It's about finding peace of mind, um, possibly um, finding balance, um, taking a look at any mistakes that you've made in this relationship and forgive each other, or forgive yourself and let it go, finding balance. And we see that in the present time too with multitasking. So there's a lot of just... Just pulling back and um, finding peace with each other and trying not to do too many things. Um, because it looked like, yeah, something went too far, too fast here with the chariot. Or your person could be pressuring you that way. Something they want to do or something they did, it just 
probably just went too fast. Maybe this connection started. It started in the beginning really fast. Maybe you two just jumped in. So now you two are fi trying to find balance. But the good thing is that there's a lot of love and happiness here with the lover's card and the ten of cups. Yeah, these are two powerful love cards. And it just looks like someone could be juggling with the two of pentacles. This could be you, Cancer, uh, or it could be your person. So it's all about bringing things back to balance because it looked like this connection, it just took off really fast in the beginning. Yeah, so it needs to be pulled back. Just pull it back So Yeah, slow it down. It went too far too fast, so now it's it's shaky. It's, you know, it's got a little bit too much going on. But we got this coming out on top. So once you find the balance, uh, you two will come out on top of this connection. Yeah, it will come out on top of the whole situation. We'll win. Because that's what this man, this man is standing, standing alone. He's got his wand. And like I said, this is the seven of wands. And it's about coming out on top. So this is a really good reading. This is a really good reading. This is a really good reading. This is a really good reading.